<laughs> yeah. Okay. That's awesome. So anyway, you guys go through shallow water, covers a ton of floor, and eventually come to a maze. So who is the lead navigator? To get through the mazes, there's uh, here's how the mazes work. The lead navigator makes either a navigate role or direction sense. The air people can try to support him. Personally, I didn't work on building up direction sense or navigate as a supporter. And if you make it, then I tell you your options. If you don't, ah, we roll at random for your options because it's a maze. Eventually, <laughs> if you figure out your way through it often enough, then you won't need to do uh, any rolls or anything like that. You'll just be like, I go to the maze, and then that takes me to this, and then that, et cetera. Who is good at the navigation? I'm shit at it. I'm shit wow. at it. All right, guess I'll do it. All right. If you guys would like to try supporting him before he rolls, then well, you know you may right. actually get better. Success. Fail. Plus five. I would like to point out how funny it is that the sewer runner guy has the shittest navigation. I got it with the um, plus, five? plus five. Cool. Here are your options. You can either go flooded, which is dead ends in the flooded, not recommended, or you go long tunnel, or you go to an empty room, or you can go to a, a tunnel that ends in a cave in and the gas makes you feel all funny. Actually, Alex ends up. Uh, Alex, give me an alcohol drug tolerance roll. Everybody give me an alcohol drug tolerance roll. Yeah, I'm good. Does anybody else make their alcohol drug tolerance roll? No, you sir. No, sir. Okay, let me start over with the correct things because Alex ended up just dragging you guys back out of that. <laughs> the new options are flooded, long tunnel, empty room, poison gas. Poison gas cave-in. Uh, that goes to a cave-in, right? And, or shallow water covers the tunnel floor. The back the way we came. No, that's not including the other shallow water tunnel. Mm. Yeah. Logan is obviously fucking with you. You should object strongly. <laughs> so those are your options with your successful navigate roles, opposed to getting kicked to a random one. Yeah, then. Uh, ooh, let's do um, shallow water again. All right, you guys go to shallow water, and eventually... You come to a climb down. It looks like it's only a one-story fall. If you'd like to pitch yourself off of it, Alex. Yeah. He goes, eh, <laughs> lands on his head and then gets back up, goes, <laughs> and looks at you guys. I'm going to attempt to make a climb roll. That's probably a much better idea than what he was doing. <laughs> um, success. And, Great. Uh, make and it out without damage. Success. Okay, you guys all make it down. From here, you will only, unfortunately, after going through a bunch of twisty tunnels and stuff, find that your options are either flooded or the other flooded. Oh, good. So you end up needing to make another climb roll to get back out of here. Because you have no scuba suits, etc. Which, if you, if you ever get that stuff, will be great for exploring uh, the sewers. I just failed my climb roll. No problem. Roll a d6 on your damage as you go. I don't want to fucking make it up here. Ah, <laughs> ah my back. Success. Ah, it's only one stun. It'll go away after a bit. What's that? Success. Yay. Did Alex make his climb? Yes. Right. You're back up to shallow water covers the tunnel floor. All right. I have to follow up with you guys. Hang on. That's a success. Nice. Yay. That takes you back to Maze. Yeah, let's go to, let's go to um, so if we've done navigation once, we're okay. Yeah, I'm not going to get a roll. Uh, empty yeah. room. Okay, you go to the empty room. Uh, let's see, have you been to Indigo Lair? Yeah, you've been to Indigo Lair, haven't you, Matt? Yeah. This is Indigo Lair. You go uh, yeah, past know. empty room, and it takes you to Indigo Lair. Indigo is not here. It's just a series of empty rooms. That eventually you get to a, a like uh, it's the it's it goes through room 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 and then it gets to like a garage that the only way out is up through a big concrete tube, so uh -huh. pretty much you need a flying car to get out of it. So we're 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 in we're now actually back in Cyberpunk. No, uh, this is this is like if 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 you were in Cyberpunk, you'd be in Indigo's lair. 
you think, or as old as Larry. You're not really sure. You heard something about him moving. Right. Because he what? was in, he was so, he was never. Yes. In, yes, in, but he, this is, it, it, the, the rooms match up, right, right. but he's not here, which is good for you. Yeah. Did you piss off Indigo? He's demons. Well, oh, okay. He's thing I know. Demon. Horrible. With all these crazy little demon bug things. Everything's yeah. a demon for you. Demon to you, man. Technology. Okay. So right. there, there is a way out, but only if you can fly. Right. Oh, so great. Back to, back to the maze. What do we have left? Long tunnel. You guys head over to Long Tunnel. Partway through the tunnel, it becomes a stone hopscotch board and continues on after that. I play hopscotch. Excellent. Uh, give me a maneuver roll to successfully hopscotch. Success. Well done. You guys watch him uh, toss a stone on the square and then do his hopscotch everywhere. And then, what do you guys? What are what are the other two doing? I will follow suit. Excellent. Give me a maneuver roll to play hopscotch. Yeah. Excellent. And Russ. Me too. Success. I was really hoping you'd fumble. <laughs> I'd be like, so somehow Russ manages not to play hopscotch. Eventually, you get to a place where you need to climb down. Give me climb rolls to go down. How far down do you look? Give me a jump roll. You'd like to try a double gainer. <laughs> oh, do a jump roll. Ah. <laughs> and then he gets up. And then he heals up. For you guys, I definitely recommend making climb roll. It's only one story, but, well, actually, if you wanted to go down one story making a jump roll, you can negate your one story damage. If it's more than that, I'll let you know. But generally, it's a one story climb. He just doesn't care if he gets damaged, is all. Mm -hmm. He enjoys right. it. And he's drunk. Because he has the, uh, the, the white. Uh huh. The white power. And then okay. you guys get to, you guys continue on. Eventually, you get to a place where the ceiling's really low doesn't hurt you any it just makes you kind of you're you're doing a crab walk through it type of deal and then you have a choice you can either go to old mine shafts or other old mine shafts old mine shafts yeah the first old mine shafts yeah sure you guys go to old mine shafts from here you can either go to room climb down or flooded room sounds nice you go to a room, and then that gives you, it turns out it's a very small room, but it splits into two tunnels. One is caved in, or you can climb up a cliff. How high? About a story. Okay. It's minor damage if you fall off. Um, so off the, off the uh, mine shaft, there was room. room. Yep. Yep, and then either cave in or cliff up. There's other other ways to go also off of the mine shafts. Mine shafts went to either room, climb down, or flooded. I'm running out of page here. Yep. Oh, Matt's Matt's seen from a distance just how fucking spider webby this is. Mm. Yeah, it's sexy. Mmm, delicious. Mm hmm So, um, do you guys want to climb up the uh, uh, cliff up? Yep. Sure. Give me climb rolls. Simple climb rolls, not a problem at all. Spider-Man. Yes. Fail. Roll a d6 as you uh, lay there and wonder where your life went horribly, horribly wrong. Six. <laughs> three real and three stun. Wow, that hurt a lot. You, Your back feels like Matt's. You seem unhappy. You hope that, uh, oh, shit, it's at that point you see Alex above you with a big stone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, give me a new climb roll to try to make it up there before. Fail again! Oh, Jesus, help me now! Roll, roll a d6 as you slowly... Ah, it's only one stun! As you slowly try to pummel yourself to death. You want to try again or just lay there for a while? I'm just going to lay here for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, the air guy's not coming, you two, notice. Okay, all right, I climb. Success. Yay. Excellent. Uh, eventually, you guys find a slope up that takes you to Evergreen Cemetery. Uh, it's in San Angeles. The entrance is hidden in a tree. You guys climb out through it. 
You are now right. on the surface again. All so right. we're at the Beastlands? Yeah, you're still in the Beastlands, but you're in the cemetery. Uh, oh, oh okay. actually, the beast. Sorry, the Beastlands. You said so, San Angeles. Yeah, the beast. The beast. The beast can live in San Angeles. Oh, like it's old San Angeles. Uh huh. We're near um, San Angeles. <laughs> at this cemetery, they after they burn people and they have the ash urn, they bury it here. There you go. Because they burn all their dead because they have elf problems. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. White Walkers. Okay. The Evergreen Cemetery. Well, guys, I'm feeling pretty wounded. Let's say we head back to town. We can take a look at you. All right. Do you have any, any actual first aid kit? Or do you want um, to put his legs off and uh, hit him with them? Let me check my equipment list here. Hold on. Even his horse, even his horse cod piece is looking pretty beaten. It looks oh, like oh, he's oh, been oh, beating oh. that thing quite a bit. I know, but I, I just, do have a go. I do have a dose of ketamine. That might make me feel better. <laughs> I just look at him, check it, check out his wounds, and I poke the greenest bruise I can find. Jesus, that hurts like a Dickens. <laughs> Motherfucker, I smack him across the face. <laughs> Success. E3? Uh, if you want to punch him hard, sure. Two stun. Bitch. Oh. Actually, that's one real two stun. Enjoy. One real two stun. Okay. Yeah. Let me get into party combat. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to retaliate, Jeremy, you'll be the good guy. He'll be the villain, and it's standard combat. Uh, I'll let it go. We're good. All right. So no, both nice my work. bruises. Is <laughs> anybody gonna give me first aid, or are we just screwed here? We can try. All right. Well, you don't have a first aid kit. Um, you <laughs> you you want to rub dirt into his wounds? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me a first aid at negative thirty. Fuck it. You say. <laughs> you right. You have dirt packed into your wounds. There you go. Yay! Sure this is not good for you. <laughs> okay, how how does the stun damage regenerate? If you get a good night's sleep, it'll go away. In fact, if you get a good night's sleep, other damage may go away too, due to the strange healing properties of this world that you found yourselves in. Oh, you know what? You could actually, if you want, take four hours to walk through the sewers, go back to red carpet land, heal up, and then walk back here. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> he covers his face. <laughs> okay. Um, or, you could, or you walk like half an hour into town, get a good night's sleep. And yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the good night's sleep. That you know makes a lot more sense. You rather guys than splitting up. <laughs> no problem. You guys drag ass over to town, and uh, you do you want to go to a hotel or something or where? You go to the Australian embassy. A proud Australian flags fly in front of the embassy. It looks much more grand than it used to. It appears that they've knocked down those old fucked up buildings and put up new. Now it looks like a proper rich embassy. Uh, there's guards and stuff, and uh, they closely inspect your ears before letting you in. Are you Australian, sir? Says a crocodile headed guy. Indeed. Very well. Enter, friend, and be recognized. Another guard uh, sounds a trumpet. <laughs> no problem. You guys go in. There's an elf boy and an elf girl that greet you in English, and they say, hello, fuck. Huh? Fuck back at you. They bow. <laughs> <laughs> That. <laughs> you see a very guilty bird edging away in, in its cage. Uh -huh. we're, we're going for another what am I module, aren't we? <laughs> oh, there's some odd shit in my world, dude. What am I? What am I? Oh, god damn, that was a fun one. <laughs> yes, um, right. Uh, no problem. Uh, the bird goes, oh, it's you, Mr. Kidley. Yeah. He's talking to a small bird in a big cage. Oh, ahoy, how you doing? Hello. 
Teach me, teach me air magic, ho oh, oh, oh. Damn it, it says. <laughs> yeah. teach, magic. teach me air God magic. Damn it, it says. <laughs> Don't we forget? Yeah. <laughs> it's been like months since you've been here, it grumbles. Keep bloody having a gun until you do it. All right. First, uh, Ahoy will attempt to teach Jeremy. Ahoy knows nothing. Ahoy will now attempt to teach Alex Kinley. No, he doesn't know shit. And now, lastly, Ahoy will attempt to teach Russ. No. Worst bird ever. Teach his ball magic. Salamander's like, oh, yeah, you assholes. Uh, hmm. Oh, actually, the Salamander has been moved to the Australian embassy, you come oh, to find <laughs> out. Yeah, he lives here now. Uh, he, has, he has become a uh, fiery scholar. Oh, I, I forgot to buy him a book of stamps for stamp collecting. Okay, I guess well, it's that, just Alex. That would, it, that would not be a good hobby for somebody who's usually on fire, or if he belches, <laughs> his entire collection goes up. Not a nice thing to give him, no. Um, create salamander, and I pull a fishing hole, a fishing pole, some hooks, and a fishing hat, and I offer them to the salamander. The salamander is impressed with your gifts, and will attempt to teach you new fiery <laughs> magics. <laughs> Right. First, the salamander will try to teach Jeremy. Oh. He doesn't know shit. Now he'll attempt to teach. You. Do you need Alex? Yeah. I he tries. Yeah. No. Yeah. Lastly, okay. it's Russ. I. Um, oh, he's halfway yes. there. Okay. And now he's going to see if he knows what he's talking about. Oh, he oh my God. Oh my God, he did. Well, Someone knows that. fire magic. I know fire magic. <laughs> I'm the mage. <laughs> 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 okay, let me let me give you your spell here. Let me open up Notepad. Oh boy, here we go. How did that world happen? Yeah, I, I don't get it. I will copy paste and then I will read out loud for people in the studio audience. It has to do with the fact that I um, I very deliberately did not. Uh, I rolled this up as a non mage, as non mage as possible. And that's <laughs> why I'm. And Jeremy, the guy who first thing he said to me is, I want to be a mage, never learns a spell. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, the spell you have learned, Russ, is the, the basic one of the fire magic tree. It's called Extinguish Fire. Casting time is one round. Range is 10 meters. Duration is instantaneous. Two magic points. Any one fire, torch size on down, is immediately extinguished. Okay, cool. Um, Be sure to copy paste. I put it in roll twenty, so you can just copy paste it into your notepad. It's your responsibility to know your spell. If you, if you don't know how your spell works before you cast it, it doesn't work regardless of your roll. Yep, just taking down all the information. Oh, nice two magic point spell. Yes, it's an easy. And keep in mind that when you're when you're practicing it, if you fail it, it's one magic point, one magic point, one magic point. If you fumble, it's two magic points, and you're done with that for the day. Right. Cool. All right. So RPG ATAW. So uh, meanwhile, uh, the fire salamander goes. <clears throat> it goes back to do whatever he does. Lizard things. All right. Are there any things on fire here other than salamander? There's a candle over there. All right. I'm going to point at that candle and make it go out. Go for it. Fail. One magic point. Go try it again. Fail. Two magic points. Fail. Three magic points. Fail. Four magic points. I got lots of these. Fail. Five. Fail. Six. Fail. Oh, bubble. Bumble. Bumble. Two magic points, and then I'm you're done. Back. I'm so, done for today. Yes. Whereas in real life, most people like to have a shit shower save, shave when they get up. In this world, people like to go cast, 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 <laughs> cast. Done. We are just the stinkiest people because we never shower. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway... um. Right. What do you? Go oh, you guys are gonna go get a good night's sleep. The elf kids make sure you're fed, and uh, they ask if you have any horses that need tending. <laughs> I do. <laughs> they look at your cod piece. The boy looks at the girl and nudges her, and she flips him off, and she says, "Peace." <laughs> <laughs>
And he goes, peace. Flip her off. Flip him off. Peace with you. Peace. Peace. Everybody's standing around flipping each other off for a while. They apparently learned that from Kinley. And <laughs> the bird doesn't have fingers. And uh, they they show you guys to your rooms and stuff. They Nobody touches your cod piece, I'm afraid. And, um, yeah, you guys get a, a good night's sleep. Who all's wounded? Yo. Anybody else? I am the invincible Phil today. Nice. Okay, <laughs> Russ, give me a willpower roll. Lower is better. Oh, no, I did get punched. Oh, uh, yeah, you got one, well, you got one point of damage, so willpower roll from you, too. Times two, you say? You gained back four hit points, Russ. Yay, stun damage is gone. Oh, uh, yeah, Yay. and also you got check and willpower. Stun, Times stun, three. Stun damage will go automatically, so uh, the four hit points should go on your reel. Yeah. Um, for you, you healed up your uh, – Phil healed up his um, – one point of damage. One point, and got check and willpower. So it's always good to go to bed a little wounded if you need a check and willpower. So we just need to punch each other in the face before we go to sleep? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> basically it. Fight club. You can do that if you want, yeah. Yeah, you can fight club before you go to bed. I don't <laughs> care. Checks for will for me. No. No. So it's morning. Everybody gets back together. Yeah, Alex is all broken up about this. <laughs> he he, he he, he seems pretty happy with happy with his white eyes. Do you wear contacts around or just fucking rock the white? You rock the white. Nice. Oh, he's All rocking right. the brown, white. Uh, he still has distressingly normal eyes, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to find myself a candle and try this again. Go for it. I don't need to hear your rolls and shit. Just make it happen and keep track One of it. One success. Phone. All right, fine. You take a check in it. Keep in mind, if you ever roll a crit, then uh, let me know because you'll gain the next spell up in the tree. Right. Okay. Okay. Since it's a new day, I'm going to attempt to crit my spell. I want that pocket. Ooh, and can somebody, somebody teach me? Uh, yeah. I'm going to guess that you're going to make the rounds of the lizard and the bird, too. Yep. Yes. I'm going to try and teach him fire magic. Okay. Do I know what I'm talking about? No. Even though Alex, I just you, can, you can also oh. try for Alex. You can oh, try that's right. I, I successfully cast the spell, so I do know what I'm talking about. So I just need to make a learn. Uh, I need, just need to make a uh, a teaching roll. Uh, yeah, but then you'd have to do that both rolls again for the other person. Okay. Um, so I failed my teaching roll. I'll try for Alex. Well. You need to make both rolls again if you're do, doing it. Right, Alex. right. I'm trying, and and I failed my I failed my spell roll, so no no fire magic for Alex. Cool. And so I missed out my fire, and Alex missed out his healing on me. So. Uh, was that a fumble on healing, or you can't teach him healing anymore? Yeah. Cool. He makes oh, it out of it. Fantastic. Mm. Hey, ahoy! I'd like to learn some air magic. God damn it! Says the bird. Teach us. All right, and so Ahoy oh, will first work on teaching Phil, the can't learn spells guy. Here we go. Now, now he will work on teaching Alex. Come on. Yes, and let me try the other role. Does he know what he's talking about? No. Yes. yes. Oh my God. I'll get you air magic in just a second. Let me try on Russ here. God damn, I'm looking broke. Now. No. Okay. Now. Let's see, the air magic. I don't know how the fuck that happened. I was really looking forward to like six years later. He still hasn't taught you shit. <laughs> and then Alex can try and teach me air magic. That's right. He can. <laughs> yes, yes, he can. Okay, it's teaching. So let me copy and paste it into roll 20 so you can copy paste it into something else. And now for the studio audience. The first one, oh yeah, it gets it gets neat as you go up. Believe me. Um, okay, so the first one of this is no smell. Casting time is one round. Range is self. This is actually a freakishly useful spell, especially when combined with Samaras. Duration is an hour. Magic point cost is two. Um, basically, uh, you can't be tracked by smell or have creatures smell you and shit like that. That's cool. It's complete oh, yeah. lack of showers is a good thing, or isn't so much of an issue now. The witch what? Is complete lack of showers. That's 
Okay, so now if Alex wants to try to teach other people, he can to spread the knowledge, and then you well, guys can already, go back and. He already tried to teach us today. No, that's what. No, 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 that was oh, fire magic. Yeah, yeah, that's right. One, no, no, no he's yeah. right, Russ. It's one, one teaching attempt per person per day. Oh, okay, so, cool. That's right. Yeah, you guys, you guys go see the lizard again. Does anybody remember the lizard's name for a card? Salamander. <laughs> no. I have it written down. I have it written first, down somewhere. First one, to, first one to tell me gets a card. Veeks. Take card. It's Veeks. Well done. Okay, so Veeks is first off going to try to teach uh, uh, Phil, who doesn't get magic. Yeah. Nope. And now, let's see. Uh, he's going to go for Alex. No. Uh, yes, that actually makes his. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because... Uh, his is 50%, the bird's is 30%. Now, the other Roy needs to make uh, to find out if he knows what he's talking about. Yes. You pick up the extinguished candle thing. You can scroll back and see that those notes. Mm -hmm. Weird. I don't get to learn spells. No. Spell banana, no. You, you rolled up a spellcaster, so no. You don't yeah. get spells. No spells I could all pop my stat points into essence. I haven't learned shit. <laughs> so cool. I'm going to pull my sword out of the pocket and put it back in just to hope I crit. Go for it. Uh, not a crit, but it is a success. Good. Uh, and I have 13 is four attempts, and that's two attempts. And Are you going for keep it. Doing it and going for a crit. Pull it out, put it back in, and I succeeded again. Pull it out, put it back in, and I succeeded again. <laughs> nice, you're pretty good at this. <laughs> he really is. Uh, someday he'll get a new spell. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, there, once you, once you have enough spells, there shouldn't be any reason why you can't get a check in all of them uh, every every adventure. So. Uh, you guys, uh, the the elf kids who seem to pretty much be the the people who take care of people when they come to the Australian embassy. I mean, there are guards and stuff around, but the kids see to people's comfort and stuff. Uh, they, you know, the elf kids uh, make you uh, food and shit. They seem pretty happy and content, and they, their English is coming along. Uh, give me Latin rolls because you get to hear uh, the bird trying to swear in Latin. I think that might actually be a success. Hmm. What's my Latin at? I know I've got points into it. Nope. Missed it by a little bit. Hmm. Nah. -uh. Cool. Uh, okay. It's fun watching a bird swearing in Latin. <laughs> I'm going to throw a cracker at it. I got my Latin. Hey! Says the bird. <laughs> I got Latin. Excellent. You get to hear the bird now swearing at the guy who threw a cracker at him. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you guys want to do today? Sewer hiking. Yay. Yeah, let's go back to that second mine. Should we go a bit more well prepared this time, maybe? Take a card, Matt. I was just thinking that same thing exactly, because you guys suck. Oh, shit. As far as your flashlight goes, Russ, I forgot to mention, to make tech shit work here is a uh, willpower times three roll. <laughs> okay. But uh, before when, when you pull it out, Alex goes... Because uh, he's he's getting ready to do it in front of the people who live here, Alex. Oh, oh, okay. Nope, nope. Yeah, I put it back. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, that's a bad thing. Yes. Demons. Mm -hmm. Literally. You guys, you guys stock up on what? Torches and shit? Uh, lantern. Lantern. Oh, yeah. They sell Coleman lanterns. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. That'd be real good for the gas pockets. Yeah, but here they're called Cold Beast Man Lanterns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you hit a pocket of gas, you'll know right away. Let's grab some rope. I'm assuming uh, Rock has some lock picks in his backpack. Yes, rope is big and thick and heavy here. It sucks ass. You wish you had good rope. <laughs> 
They don't know how to make good rope, apparently. Crappy rope. Mm. This is cowboy times. Yeah, Not I got great. my chalk in my Israeli sign book. I still got some food in the pack, too. All right. You got food, guys? Got some I'll rope. starve. Get some rope. <laughs> Famous last words. I'll starve. It's been a while since <laughs> somebody actually starved to death. I think you guys are more in danger of dying of thirst. Well, okay, you might not die from just thirst. <laughs> just like try to suck water around a turd floating there. Move, boom, boom. Try to get this water, bro. <laughs> It would probably be better than just to make the rat pee in your mouth and then try to suck the water out of there. Yeah, yeah. it's been at least filtered once if it comes out of the rat. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you, did I hear you picking up a water skin? Yeah, just write down your shit you're wanting to get. If you're bringing rope, know that I will fuck with you because it's big and heavy here. It's like, uh, it's not quite the gym rope, but it's pretty goddamn close. I'll leave the rope. Of, that kind of rope that made you climb up in gymnasium class. Plus the climbs that you've done thus far, not really that that far of climbs. You know, rope and, um, and I guess something to anchor the rope to. Like a big heavy metal grappling hook? They sell those. No, I'm thinking like a spike. Mm. Okay, yeah. Some kind of uh, paint on. The Australian Embassy is happy to provide that sort of stuff for you. Okay. So, because uh, also, I know you don't have any money, but apparently, some Australian guy uh, set up a, a fund here where if you're needing gear and uh, stuff like that, they take care of it for you. Nice. What a great philanthropic person. Thanks, Pete. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, there, in fact, there's a large painted picture of him in an extremely heroic pose uh, over a fireplace in the Australian embassy. Is that the same guy that was in the house? Which in house? house? Doc? No, that's a different guy. Okay. Yes, you're beginning to find out who people are without actually meet them. That, that's, that's a lot of fun for you. But you met Alex Kinley, and he gave you something that used to be on his penis. Now it's on yours. Nice. Yes. <laughs> you feel close to him. So <laughs> So you're, you're the only one that has rope there, uh, Russ? Uh, I, I don't know. know. I, that's that's. I got rope and pitons. Yeah. All right. Great. Nobody else. Everybody just looks at you and you're like, <laughs> and you just look at them and you're thinking, what a couple of fucking swine. They. they Alex looks like he pretty much stocked up on booze, <laughs> and he's got just a, a. Oh, Alex, if you want, they have a barrel of whiskey with backpack straps, and you Ooh. can wear that instead of a backpack. Yeah. Great. Do they have, so, a, do they have a little miner's hat with the uh, with. With you can get an actual miner's hat that burns carbide. It's a carbide lantern. So uh, if you go into a gas pocket, that way your head will literally burst into flame. <laughs> Mud. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't want that. No? <laughs> no? Does anybody want one of those? I'll take one. Okay. Now, Alex, keep in mind, if you're carrying your whiskey backpack, you don't want to uh, dive off of anything because it may break it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I recommend climbing at least until the whiskey's gone. Right. I mean, if you feel you're climbing, break it, then it is the end of the world. Oh, just drink it from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's so, go back in through the cemetery. All right. No problem. You guys head over to uh, the cemetery, Evergreen Cemetery. You guys uh, head over to the hidden entrance, and eventually you come to a, a cliff down. Yep. Well, you give it climb rolls. How far down? That's about so, a story. If you want to make a jump roll instead to absorb the damage, you can. Yep, jumping. Go for it. Success. Great. Wow, okay. You do a cool matrix landing and shit or a superhero landing or something. If you fail your climb, can you make a jump roll to try and, and roll with it? No, no. If you're, he's doing the intentional jumping down. Basically, he's not just hopping. He's getting the edge, lowering himself, then pushing away and trying to absorb it with his legs and stuff. As right, opposed okay. to, I'm at an awkward angle and my hands seem to have let go. Aha! I was just wondering if my parkour would be good for that, but I guess not. <laughs> nah, not nah. really. Parkour nah. is not going to solve all of the issues, I'm afraid. Oh, but, I know, but you know, thought I'd ask. You guys, you guys uh, go down. Everybody made their climb and stuff. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Great. You come to room. From room, you can either go to cave in or old mine shafts. Old mine shafts. From you my old mine shafts to low ceiling. Well, uh, at old mine shafts, you have choices of either low ceiling, flooded, or climb down. Climb down? Huh, I got to climb after the low ceiling, not before. Oh, no, hold on. Do we go oh, no, this is a different climbing thing. There's many things here. Hold on. So we went down the slope. Ah, uh, and then to room, and from room to old mine shafts. Right. And then, and then, then that goes to low ceiling. You have a choice between low ceiling, flooded, or actually it's climb up. Sorry, it's climb up. Not the, yeah. And climb up or cave in. Uh, no, no, that's okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. From the evergreen thing, it's climb down, then you're into a small room, yeah. then you're into old mine shafts, then you can go to a different climb up or flooded or low ceiling. Let's try to climb up. Sure. Um, I'm going to give up on this because that's not what I've got. No worries. I climb up in the cave in off of the first mine shaft. Yeah, he, we just didn't get the um, we just didn't you get just the climb up in the, yeah, in, you the, just in the mine shaft room. We just missed it. It's just off the mine shaft room. Yeah. You know, no worries. Give up. You guys yeah, don't give up. You guys climb up, give me climb up rolls, and you're to somewhere new ish. Success. I succeeded. Huh. All right. All right. Uh Alex. He's yeah, he's gonna oh with a hundred? Oh my god. You guys hear him go, no, and then, you're, <laughs> and then you're crying, followed by sucking. Oh followed by licking off the floor. Mm -hmm. Don't get deterred. Give me a new climb roll eventually, Alex, to try to climb your way up there. No. He, he just keeps climbing up, and then he's got like a boulder in his hands. He's like, how would you come out? <laughs> and then you, he waits a bit, and he climbs up, and he got two handfuls of dirt, and then he falls off again. Yeah. All right, good. And now you come to <laughs> hand or claw dug tunnels, and it's like a maze of worms, but it's not an actual maze. You're okay. From here, there are several different ways to go. Some of this looks vaguely familiar to Alex. You have, your choices, not including where you came from, include climb down, again, somewhere else, slimy floors, stalagmite and stalactites, roots hang... Hmm? Oh, Jesus. So climb down, slimy floors. Uh-huh. Stalagmite, stalactites. Yeah. Roots hanging down from the uh, yeah. uh, roof. Okay, I know where else. Uh, the area that got you blown up. Yeah. Or um, a long time or a tunnel passing storm drains, many storm drains. That is a lot. Uh huh. All right. But Alex seems to recognize at least a little bit of this, which doesn't make you feel better. Right, you don't want to go down that way, because that leads to pirate, basically a pirate smuggling docks, and there's loads of crap that's going to blow you up. Okay. Just so you know. What's that way? The blown up area. <laughs> yeah, the one he calls blown up. It's right after roots hanging down from the roof. Next is blown up, and then the other one is passing many storm drains. So these tunnels, these these are the same sewer systems in just all the different areas. You so got this, it. This is because this is this we, when we came in here before. This was uh, in the cyberpunk area. No. No, it was in the red red carpet carpet area. Yes. So the blown up area might not be the same as it was in the other because things are obviously different here. I get you right now. It makes sense. Uh huh. Uh, and the blown up area is separate from the roots. It's not through the roots. Separate. Separate. Okay. We'll see if Jeremy can claw his way back through his shitty internet or power outages. In fact. 
We're not all that far from, I think, a place even you guys know. Isn't it the guy in place where they did the uh, mass murdering? Oh, the vampires. We're close to the vampire place? Not that far. In the same section of tunnels. <laughs> but it's not here. I'm going to assume Jeremy will pop. Jeremy will come out of a side tunnel if you guys keep going. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'm okay. Go. So what is that? Down the tunnel with the storm drains? What's that? Is that down the tunnel with the storm drains to the vampires? You're not sure? And Alex seems to be ignoring you as he's getting a new ice pack for his aching backpack. Yep. Okay. His aching I'll just back. chill. Ever, ever since his whiskey was destroyed, he's been very depressed. I'd be the shell of the man I was before. <laughs> yes. He's got to take a bunch of drugs, and and that's how Jeremy eats the crocodile. Oh, hey, Jeremy. <laughs> You were planning on that, weren't you? <laughs> Matt's, Matt's getting a fresh ice pack for his back. Well, you passed out there for a second, so I tried to beat you with my cod piece. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That wake up. Wake me up. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're being beat about the ears with a cod piece. I think this has happened enough. <laughs> he gets excited when you hit him, and then he hits you, but if you fall asleep and he starts teabagging you, that's a-okay. <laughs> when I wake up and I'm getting slapped in the face with a dick hat, I'm going to punch him right in the balls. All right. All right. right in the horse. <laughs> so, punch in the horse. Success. I dodge. Success. Correct. <laughs> Crit dodge. Oh, crit? Well, yeah. there's nothing we can do about it. He wasn't even expecting it because usually you have to mention that you're expecting to have to dodge or something like that. But with a crit, no. He just whoop, moves back. And then you bear, your hand barely reaches the horse. And he goes, <laughs> and just gently pop it. And now you're feeling like you're helping him whack off somehow. And it's just not right. Oh, oh, oh. The fact that he starts moaning is not really helping you. Oh, who's a horny smurf? <laughs> You're hoping the horse doesn't start drooling. All right. <laughs> oh, really hard. Do you want them to keep going there while you're... Oh, you're already back. Yeah. He's back. Good, because yeah. he has questions for you. Yeah, um, so he's going to put his headphones on in a second now. You have a sewer runner. He's just really not good at it yet. He's growing into his role. This is this is I think what Matt was talking about um, before is um, uh, the character that you generate initially is not the character you'll end up playing because your character can grow and change in completely unexpected ways. Russ may end up uh, having a new character concept of sewer runner for all he knows. Sewer running mage. Hmm. Unlike helicopter pilot, piloting army army guy in every way. Yeah. Not navy guy actually. I'll give you a prime example. One of my one of my characters I had in one of the other campaigns, uh, Hugo Harrington. He started off as a run-of-the-mill beat cop. Uh, then he ended up being, uh, he got some insanity and he became a great white hunter to used to wear women's underwear underneath his uh, hunting gear. Right. And, then, and then, through other means, he became a minor aspect of death. So that's quite a big jump, if you think about it. <laughs> it's like beat cop. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy guy who thinks he's a great white hunter and wears women's underwear. Aspect of death. Uh, if you're a beat cop, you're an aspect of death for black people. So you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not going in there. Wow. <laughs> edit. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to Jeremy. So you go ahead and ask your question that you were waiting for him for there, Russ. Oh yeah, um, there's a. Is it the tunnel with the grace that goes to the old vampire place? 
Um, which which one of these choices goes to the vampires? It might be the climb down. I think I seem to remember we we saw the place with the the vampire killings, and then we had to get through a small gap, and I think we ended up having to climb up or climb down, and then we were like somewhere in here. So I'm thinking maybe the climb climb down okay. or the climb up, whichever one that is. I don't think uh, there's a climb down off of this. It's not. There's no. There's no climb up over this. Climb down then maybe. Yeah. It might be that one. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I like that you guys are starting to get to know your way around the sewers and shit. I mean, I, I, don't, I know we definitely went through the roofs, uh, and we definitely, I think we went through the stable type place. I don't remember the slimy floor at all. I have I not run into any of my old marks, right? It's one of those three, but I definitely remember a climb up, I think, from the, uh, after getting squeezing through the contortions hole. I, I I give you I'll give you a little hint here, Russ. You notice that marks after they've been around for a while tend to go away slowly. They just almost like they're dissolving. It's right. totally unfair. Yep. So bad. And yeah, it, behold the power of brown. But don't worry, you will become the main sewer runner. People will come to you just for your skill in this. Sure. Also. Also, just to give you a, a fair warning, Russ, right now the sewer I would describe as fairly good size. There's mm -hmm. like more than a couple hundred different areas. Um, and it will get bigger. So, you know, even, even though you know that down this hall it normally dead ends, I would check down that hall every now and then and say, Logan, I'm, you know, I'm super familiar with all the sewers. I Go ahead, go check out those places I mentioned. I'm keeping an eye on. See if anything new has grown. That's that's a pretty thing, cool thing to do if you really get to like know these sewers with the power you have got. I mean, that's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna be like, "We're Russ. We need Russ." Everyone's I could be anywhere. Like, yes. We need, <laughs> need Russ to be here for this game mm -hmm. purely because he is the man who knows, and he can take us anywhere we need to in the sewers. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That's not, that's not bad, yeah. I think we lost yeah. Jeremy. Yeah, he's obviously having some issues with the old uh, internet. Yeah, he's very gone. Oh, well. It's nice now. It? <laughs> it's nice to give up on him that quickly. <laughs> he's like, he's gone now. <laughs> he's, he's gone now. That's it. We'll hold a memorial service for Jeremy. That's what he gets for using Oompa Loompa corpses to power his fucking internet instead of just paying for electricity like a regular person. So, um... Are spells considered writing skills? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, anything that's not already typed out on the sheet is a writing skill. Yeah. Um, so let's go. Do you want to? Should we just quickly go? You know, we can always put Jeremy back in when we get there. Right. Let's try the climb down. I was going to try the tunnel with the grates. Okay, well, you make up your mind. One of you wants to go one way, and the other wants to go the other. I don't. I don't feel like doing a contortions thing. No, I'm not saying to go through it. I'm just saying to. Oh, to confirm. confirm. Okay. Yeah. yeah let's do that. Climb down. If you don't want to. If you don't want to. If you don't take any damage, I can always just drop down. Have a look, quick look, see what it is, and then I'll come come straight back up. If I cool. fall, I can just regen the damage. So, sure, give me a climb down roll then. No, I don't even bother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. The tunnel goes twisting around, and you come to a place where you're going to need to roll a contortions at plus yeah. thirty percent in order That's to get through. It. So this is this is widened on because I did the widening. So it's affected the tunnels here as well with the widening. Apparently. Ah. Interesting. Hmm. Right, I turn back around and you don't want to go into an oddly clean room. No. Okay. So you turn around, give me a climb roll to rejoin Russ. Yep. Ha! He says. Yeah, I was right. The climb down is to the squeeze through to get to the room with the vampires. Very good. Sorry. All right. 
that will come up for that one too. And now we don't have to bother going uh, going through contortions to get back here. No, but there is an exit very close by because yeah, there there are a couple. Yeah, so it, it'd be interesting to see where that's going to come out in the furry land. Right, <laughs> right. Might want to look that up at some point. I gotta if I'm really gonna be a tunnel runner, I gotta get my uh, mining skills up. Oh yeah. So I can widen some of these contortion cracks up. Oh yeah. That will make that'll make life better for everyone if uh, Russ well, goes around widening yeah, shit. Well, like, I live here now. I don't know, he can take it. I live with the mole people in my horse. <laughs> he'll be he'll become just like uh, uh, Mr. Goldenfold, the teacher. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where to? Now the tunnel with the storm grates. Storm grates. Uh, all right. You go uh, uh, down the tunnel that passes many storm drains. Eventually, you come to, you can either uh, continue on or go into a side passage thing that you think somebody lives in. Which one was the storm tunnel, sorry? Huh? Is that just one of the ones? Uh, storm tunnel is a different one. This is past storm drains. This is storm drains, yeah. Um, we're in it now. How many, how many exits were there off the Lawrence, including the one we came from? Uh, total? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven. I got seven, too. Yeah, okay. I got seven. Cool. Good. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's what I've got. Good. Then we're all agreed. Yay. All right. So, somebody lives down, what do I see, like refuse and stuff? Yep. Hold on a second. Let me shoot him the link real quick. Yes, you, you do. Uh, you can even see somebody uh, kicking around in there. It looks like a uh, very dirty individual who's trying to hide from you badly. Hello. Oh, oh there, hey. do Hercule the honor of a bow. Uh, you hear? Hercule, I pat my cod piece. <laughs> you hear? <laughs> they seem very alarmed now. They think Bow about before the horse. Wow. Do I need to make an intimidate roll here? You've terrified this person to the point where they think they're going to get raped by you. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bow before the an horse. intimidate roll would not really. I don't. I don't know what. If you actually, you might be able to literally scare them to death if you want to give me a critical intimidate roll. They will literally have a heart attack and die. No, no, I don't want to do that to the poor guy. All right. He's like, like been dragging my body along, or am I still stuck on the ground somewhere? No, no, you're right. You're you're with him. You just come out of a side chamber, uh, wiping your hands on your pants. Apparently, you're okay. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> plus, plus, if people disappear and reappear from time to time, it works within this world. It's amazing. <laughs> amazing. amazing. Yep. So what did I miss, guys? Uh, They're terrifying some uh, poor guy dressed in rags who's trying to hide from them in uh, an offshoot of a tunnel. And it looks like uh, um, right now uh, it appears that The Rock is patting his codpiece and looking meaningfully at this poor uh, wretch. Who Kneel is before her cue. <laughs> I, I run up to the poor wretch and I try and hide and protect him from the god piece. I know. As soon as you run in there, he goes. Yeah! <laughs> He's trying to bury himself in garbage and stuff in there. Uh, it appears to be a really skinny person without fur on, who's who's wailing and moaning and trying to uh, bury themselves. Oh man. Ah! His, unfortunately for him, he, he went in head first, which does mean his ass is still sticking out of the pile <laughs> of refuse. This is not good, considering that the guy with the codpiece was le recently threatening him and sending somebody else to restrain him or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> and this guy thinks he's gonna get fucked. Well, you're kneeling now. Prostrate yourself before prostate yourself before Ocul. <laughs> Take a card for a bad prostate pun. Oh, you horrible person. Uh, the guy <laughs> the guy is quivering in fear. He, he he's he's out of his mind with panic. All you can see is his ass, which is pointed in your direction, and unfortunately for this guy, shaking. I, I attempt to use my empathy roll to calm him down. Calm him down. Uh, empathy will tell you how he feels about it. Okay, well I'll use empathy for that, and that's a crit. He feels like he is in fear for his uh, life and his uh, uh, possibly taught nubile asshole. And now that I know this, uh, fast wait. talk roll to try to calm him down, or or psychology roll. Uh, psychology that might actually work. Where's my psychology? Psych, psych, psych. Nope. You pat him on the ass and say, "There, there, there, there." <laughs> this does not seem to be helping. Where, where, <laughs> where? <laughs> Russ is actively anti-supporting you right now. <laughs> I got whiskey. Now they're offering to buy him a drink first. <laughs> this is not helping. This guy is just pretty much waiting for penetration to hit. This guy doesn't wash in ages. He lives in a sewer. And he thought his, his worst possible fear would be the rats getting him. Now he knows that the rats are a welcome company. <laughs> okay, I I stop being I stop being menacing. I've had enough with torturing this poor guy. There, there, take it easy. Yeah, We're not going to hurt you. He, he was starting to believe you and starting to look back, and all of a sudden the horse spoke up and went. <laughs> <laughs> he curled up in a ball. He seems to be going into some sort of catatonic catatonic state. Oh, sand roll. <laughs> he, he's lost. Oh, yeah. He, he, well, the horse hasn't actually moved around talk. It's just a little squeeze box thing. So you guys all look at his cock and then back at this guy. Yeah, yeah. He, he, you haven't seen uh, anybody in this state since you gave that one girl all that Rohypnol. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I just uh, wait patiently for him to calm down. You think it could be years of therapy before he does? Ah. Let's, let's just leave him. Let's just leave him be. Well, let's check out the garbage first. Is there anything interesting here? You do find that he has a smaller cave attached to his cave, and it, it's almost like he's using it as some sort of closet, and it does have a skeleton in it. Oh. <laughs> I see you have a skeleton in your closet, old man. It, it appears that this old man, which is an unusual thing in the Beastkin lands, is not, in fact, a man. He is a, uh, or was, before he became an insane one, an elf. Mm. It old appears elf. that he's catatonic. What, what, what about the um, skeleton? Does it look human or does it look beast? Uh, it, it looks like a Beastkin of some sort. Uh, give me zoology rolls to figure out what sort of Beastkin it is. Fumble. Fumble, it's you. It's your skeleton. <laughs> you somehow managed to pull your skeleton out. Get out of my body. Get back in my body. <laughs> I failed. You want to take it with you until you can get it back in, Alex? Or? Yeah, <laughs> You're worried about deflating now. <laughs> no problem. Anything no. else interesting in his closet or just the skeleton? Just a skeleton, pretty much. I mean, you can get uh, new new rag clothing or a cape made out of rat fur, shit like that. But you know, rat fur cape. Yeah. Call me sold. All right. <laughs> oh man, and now we're stealing his cape. Yeah. <laughs> this guy had very few possessions. That actually literally took him months to make of careful uh, uh, collecting rat and murdering the rat skins and stuff. Uh, I grab the cape, I go up to her, and I, I, I wave it in front of his prostrated butt. I'm like, do you mind if I take this? He shakes and shudders. I take that as a, fine, all right, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are officially the worst people in the world. So, uh, no problem. Uh, you steal the, uh, the, the um, catatonic guy's clothes, and... 
Uh, yeah, it appears that this guy has uh, really good skinning skills to be able to skin rats and then stretch their little corpses on little frames and stuff. Oh, I make a note to introduce Jana to this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you guys leave him and head back into the uh, passage. From here, you've got tunnel back to the uh, hand slash claw dug area, or uh, you can continue on until you get to a grate which appears to be locked. 